Mr. Firebird would come over this morning so I could show him my history report, my calculator, and my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. It's Cartown News Update. A little later today, we're going to be chatting with Mr. Firebird about his new time portal. So dust off your bumpers and stay tuned this afternoon. That's my gas gauge. Here's my coin. I better not leave home without it. <laughs> That's my history report. That's my calculator. That's my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. <laughs> Come on, Pep. Let's go see Mr. Firebird. <laughs> Here we are, Pep. It's Mr. Firebird's workshop. It says, Firebird's Lab. Let's go find our friend, Mr. Firebird. Hi, Mr. Firebird. Welcome, Foot Foot. I was just putting the finishing touches on my time portal. Wow, a real time portal? Where can you go in it, Mr. Firebird? Nowhere! Nowhere at all! I don't think. You see, it's not meant for actual travel, but it gives you a way to see into the past and the future through the time portal. Like a TV set, only what you're seeing is real. Wow, that's neat! As a matter of fact, I was just about to fire it up for the very first time. Here, I'll show you. Great! And then I can show you my history report and my new school supplies. <laughs> thinking I need a coin to start the washing machine guess I'm fresh out hey I think I've got something that will solve the problem here's a coin mr. firebird ah this is not a mere coin putt putt it is the key to great knowledge the washing machine is providing the perfect ratio between the inverted subspace bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle! <laughs> Holy gas can! This shouldn't be happening! show that until everything is brought back to the present time, I won't be able to shut the portal. Don't worry, Mr. Firebird. I'll go in and find everything. Once you find all your things, we can close this time portal for good. 
You be careful, Putt-Putt, and good luck! Wow! It's like a science fiction movie, except I have a feeling that this is reality! These must be the four places where Pep and all my things landed. I wonder where I should go first. Brachiosaurus, and who or what in the primordial ooze are you? I'm Putt-Putt, and I've come from the future, Miss Brachiosaurus. Sure you have, honey. Have a nice time while you're here in the past. Thanks! Hey, it's a rock in the shape of a circle! Whoa, it's a big one! I wonder how I can move this thing so I can drive through. I must be in the medieval times. It's a square rock. My name's Putt-Putt. I'm very happy to meet you, Putt-Putt. I'm Princess Chassy, and this is my best friend and loyal subject, Woodward. We have been out collecting wood for the blacksmith when a horrible rainstorm hit. We went charging back to the castle as fast as we could when I hit a bump and my wheel fell right off in the middle of the road. Well, maybe I can help you figure out a way to get that wheel back on. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. Now I wonder how we should do this. Okay, Princess Chassie, here's the plan. You lift up your friend Woodward, and I'll slip on his wheel. It would be my pleasure. Oh my goodness gracious sakes, good thanks to both of you. 
You're welcome. Now I must hurry back to the castle. My father, King Chariot, is expecting me for story time. And I have to return with the blacksmith's firewood. Perhaps we'll see you later, Pet Pet. Bye! <laughs> Wow, this is some castle! Yes, it is! Only the rains have rusted the gates shut. We need something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. Maybe I can find something that would work. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. Well, I'll be swaggered. Well, howdy, stranger. You're not from around these here parts. No, I'm not. I'm Putt-Putt, and I've traveled here from the future. Sure you have. The name's Lurleen. What can I do for you? I'd like to look around, if you don't mind. Not a bit. Not at all. Well, I'll be. Well, shoot them up. If that don't beat all. Well, I'll be swaggered. Well, I'll be. horse feathers. I'd like some chewy, fruity wagon wheels, please. It'll cost you a nickel. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to come back when I have one. Howdy do, little buddy. You new in town? I'm Putt-Putt. I'm visiting from Car Town, far in the future. Well, dang a lang a ding dong. That is something, ain't it? I'm Virgil Clyde.
A rope! This might come in handy. Hey, Sonny. You didn't show up a moment too soon. I'm looking to hire me a junior conductor. Pique your interest, son. Job pays a nickel. Sure, what do I have to do? For starters, you can oil me up. Why, I'm as dry as a creek bed in Indian summer. It's an oil can. <laughs> A little on the wheels would do nicely. By the way, my name is Tobias T. Train. Ah. But you can call me Toby. Oh, much better. A thousand thanks, amigo. You're welcome, Toby. Say, I didn't catch your name. My name's Putt-Putt. Well, Putt-Putt, my partner, so far, you've made a mighty fine junior conductor. Here's your pay. One round nickel. Thanks, Toby. And you hang on to that old can. After all, now you're my official junior conductor. Thanks. Ah, horse feathers. This should help open that rusted gate. <laughs> A thousand and one thank yous, Putt-Putt. Now we won't be late for story time. Bard Max Wellington, who loves to play the lute. I once thought of being a piper, but I cannot play the flute. Hi, Woodward. Good to see you again, Putt Putt. You're in for a regular treat, because Sir Poundalot, my friend over there, is the nicest blacksmith in the world, and that's the truth. Greetings, traveler. May I help you? My name's Putt-Putt, and I'm looking for some things. Take all the time in the world. My shop is your shop. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks! Hmm. What's that you're making? It's a shield for King Chariot. It's beautiful. Thank you. Coming along nicely. Hello, I'm... Do, do not tell me. Ah, yes. You must be from the future. How did you know that? You are not the only visitor I have encountered from another time. My name is Merlin. Merlin the Magician? Wow! You have traveled from a time very far away. And like all travelers, you must be looking for something. I sure am. Well, my friend, 
I believe you will find everything you are looking for. I hope you're right. Welcome, ye stranger. What be your name? My name's Putt-Putt. And I am King Chariot. Thou hast arrived in time to hear a fantastic story. Excuse me, King Chariot, but I think that fantastic story happens to be my history report. I need to take it home with me. But then whatever would I read to the children of the kingdom? They would be so very disappointed to miss story time. You could read it to them and then give it back to me. Ah, uh, but it is so interesting, I want to read it every day. Maybe I could find another story for you, and you could read that one to them instead. That is a splendid idea. Perhaps you can find me a story about... Hmm, let me see. A spooky story about a vampire. like some sort of game. Let's play with these balloons. Maybe we can shoot those crows away with them. Just show me where to let go of each balloon. If you want to quit the game, just click on the arrow. Are you sure you want Mm-hmm. 